The checks that you should do um, should be pretty much the way you should check your car on a regular basis. Do you have anything around or near the exhaust? Because your exhaust is the thing that gets the hottest on a dyno. So if you have um, wiring that's close to the exhaust, there's a good chance that that's going to catch fire or melt. Right? So you want to make sure that you've got nothing hanging around in an exhaust pipe, whether it be material wrapped or that, or whether it's rubber line that's in braid. You really don't want it anywhere near the exhaust. The other things to check are things like conditions of fan belts, conditions of radiator hoses. Right? It may be fine for you to say, oh, I can run with that fan belt, it's okay, it's still spinning the pulleys. But once again, remember, a dyno tuner is going to be getting the peak out of your engine. So it's going to be pulled to a higher RPM. So if that belt's in no good condition, for the sake of a $50 belt, right, it could come loose and take out a lot more in your engine bay on the dyno. So those kind of checks. Um, the other thing to also check, which a lot of people don't sort of realise, is things like oil condition. If you haven't changed your oil in 15, 20,000 Ks, it's like sludge. Don't put it on the dyno.